In this video, I wanna share with you some hard facts when it comes to entrepreneurship and business. This comes from nine years in our personal journeys, our entrepreneurship journeys that have taken us from being able to quit our careers to multiple warehouses, to have a fantastic team and be on the mission that we're on today. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? That's just the, the shining, light that I talk about, I share, we're proud of what we're doing, but underneath the iceberg, there's a hell of a lot, right? And some of it is incredible, some of it is just outright ugly, right? And that's where the hard facts are. The hard facts, the hard, the, the hard truths. It's hard, it's really hard right it is finding energy from absolutely nothing sometimes you feel like you're getting battered and battered and battered and battered and that's never going to change it feels like you're getting battered and battered and battered and battered it's going to take long hours early mornings late nights you're going to sacrifice your weekends there's going to be no more going out on the weekend there is going to be times when you've got the opportunity to go to a party or a club or you've got the opportunity to go to a nice barbecue the sun's out let's get the deck chairs out and you're inside you're working there's going to be times when you have to sacrifice the sacrifice time with potentially your loved ones your children there's going to be times when everybody around you is asleep in the middle of the night and you are up believing you've got courage you you, you you're drawn into the future you are drawn that this has got to be done. There's something deep inside you that goes, I, I don't know what this is, but I, I've, I've got to keep going. I'm getting pulled into the future. You're gonna learn a lot about yourself. You're gonna learn a lot about the way you work, your emotions, what triggers you. You're gonna learn a lot about your comfort zone, what you're scared of, what you're fearful of. You're going to go into confusing times where you don't know something, where you go, I, I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Does it mean the end of the world? Does it mean the start of everything, right? You are going to have to break pretty much every single belief that you may have grown up with, right? For me personally, being from a council estate, very much in the world of prior to the internet you're outside you're running around you are playing football you're playing kirby you're climbing trees you are playing um block you are um you're up, you're up, you're outside you're on rollerblades you are on the you're on a skateboard you are on your bike you are running up and down fields you you are you're from a world of the the world that you've grown up in is very much like this is this is what you all you know this is what people do this is how people interact your neighborhood right you've got your parents that may uh, shout across the road to your next door neighbor how are you doing how's things everybody out on the street that's how i grew up right very much council estate one single parent um unfortunately my i never knew my father I've also, um, unfortunately, didn't have my mother, my mother around from when I was 11 years old. And you, you grow up and everyone has their story, right? Everyone has their reasons for who they've grown up as. And with those, you get beliefs, why things happen, why things don't happen. You, uh, you see the way people live, what people have, what people don't have. For me, it was like, I remember when the first the PlayStation 2 came out, it was like, some people couldn't afford it. Some people, the people that did afford it was like, wow, they've got a PlayStation 2. Or things like satellite television, Sky. It was like, people had just, just standard free view. When somebody had a Sky or Sky Sports News or, or, or Sky, Sky Sports or Sky Movies, it was like, wow, you've, you've got, you're rich, you've got money. There's beliefs, right? There's things that you've grown up as, that you've seen. And no matter where you grew up, you have to reinvent yourself. You have to question absolutely everything. Why do I believe this? 
Why don't I believe this? Why do I think this is possible? Why don't I think it's possible? Why do I feel uncomfortable with this? Why do I feel comfortable with this? With the way the world works, does it actually work like this? Or does, do, do, does it not work like this? The beliefs that you have around money, financials, you're like, money doesn't grow on trees. We can't afford it. Is that true? The reality is true in terms of your reality, but when you are trying to break through, when you're trying to build something out of nothing, you may, you may literally be doing something that your family has never ever done before. In the generations that have gone by, maybe your parents didn't do this. Maybe your grandparents didn't do this. Maybe as far back you look at, nobody in your entire history has ever done what you're attempting to do. So therefore, there's going to be some realities with this, right? There's going to be some realities. There's going to be people that maybe judge you. There's going to be people that maybe react to you. There's maybe people that doubt you. There's maybe people that try to do you over, stab you in the back. There may be people that don't want to see you doing well. They might try to tear you down. Some people might want to push you up, but then tear you down behind your back. Realities are the journey that you're on is a very, very interesting journey. You are going to experience the full experience of life. The times when you are exhausted, the times when you are mentally exhausted, fatigued, and you're like, what do we do here? But there's always going to be a shining, there's like a light. If you imagine like a, a lighthouse in the distance, you're like, I don't know what this is, but like something is guiding me towards where I want to be. So you're gonna to have to have some truths, truths and hard truths in terms of, there's gonna be a lot of distractions as you go on your journey. There's gonna be people, things, events, experiences, failures, successes that are going to try to take you off course, that are going to try to take your focus away, that are going to try to make you question yourself who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? Are you actually capable of doing this? These are the things that are going to be happening on your journey and you have to work on your composure. You have to work on your discipline. You have to work on your consistency. You have to work on your the, the, the inner cultivation of like, I'm willing to take the bumps the bruises, the scars, the stabs, the, the hits across the head, the hits in your chest, and you're gonna keep moving forward regardless. That's the facts. Things outside of your control are gonna change and you're gonna to have to deal with, okay, I can't control this, but what I can control, what can I control? What do we need to do today? The tip of the iceberg is the amazing milestones that you can achieve, right? The, you can quit your career. You can make money for the first time. You can maybe move into, we've moved into warehouses, right? You can recruit teams. These are all like shining, reinforcing the, the beliefs for you that like, you're, you can actually do this and you are doing it, but there's gonna be a hell of a lot that happens in the meantime. There's going to be, you're gonna learn more about people than you've ever learned before. You're gonna learn about your, your friends. You're gonna learn about your family. You're gonna learn about your team. You're gonna learn about the, the, the people that are on your side, not on your side. There's gonna be days when you, you feel absolutely exhausted. And there's gonna be times where you doubt, like what, what is it that you're doing here? But there's gonna be that shining North Star, that something is pulling you towards it. But you're gonna to have to go through this. You're going to have to get through it. 
you're going to have to do everything you possibly can to take 100% responsibility for everything that happens. And all you can do every day is one step forward, taking messy, massive action every single day. Some days are going to be great. Some days, some weeks, you're going to be in momentum. You're going to be unstoppable. You're going to be like, come on, let's go. Next, 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 next. The other times, you're going to be like, oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? You're going to have to accept it. You're going to have to roll with the punches. You're going to have to understand and be aware that your motivation levels is going to go ups and downs. You're very much going to have a motivational cycle. There's going to be times where you're like, I don't know whether I'm like nearly burned out here or, or why am I not interested here? Why am I not excited for this? Why do I feel like this? Why do I want to open up my laptop? These are some of the times that you're going to experience. But it's actually, when it's all said and done, it's not actually about any single day. It's not actually about any single week. Maybe not even every single month or year. It's actually what you do over a decade. It's actually what you do over two decades. It's actually what you do over three decades. It's actually what you're able to do when you're in a, an ultra marathon. It's not about those that quit, that stop, that get injured, that they haven't got the mental capacity to like break through their, their, their urge to stop. It's, it's actually about those that never stop. It's actually about those that continue until, until successful, until completed, until finished. It's those that are able to go, yesterday was a bad day, but today's a new day. It's those that are able to go, last week, didn't have a great week last week, but this week I'm gonna have the best week I've ever had. It's those that are able to accept the fact that you're on it, you're making it happen, and then you have a day off, you have a lapse. You may be working on your fitness, right? And you have been to the gym every single day and then like, you, you, you just need to lie in and then you miss the gym. Instead of beating yourself up about it, you get back onto the treadmill. It's those that are able to accept the fact, oh, I've just lost 100 pounds here, 200 pounds here. I invested in something that did not work. And instead of going, I'm not doing that again, I'm not gonna try stuff again, you keep trying. You try again. You try a second time, a third time. You keep knocking on the door until one of them answers, until one of the door handles just lowers a little bit and you're like, something was there. I'm gonna pursue this, right? And it's, it's that never-ending flashing light, that um, lighthouse in the, in the distance that makes you go, I've, I'm being pulled towards this. I am pulled towards this. I am going to make it happen, no matter what. You're gonna learn a lot about your skill set, the things you know and what you don't know. You're going to learn a lot about the unknown unknowns, those that you just don't even know that something's happening, and it's now gonna kick you in the face. You're going to learn about creating value, creating systems, working with people. You're going to learn about financial management. You're going to learn about organizational structures. You're going to learn about legals and taxes. You're going to learn about so much on your journey that some of it is like, I don't actually know what this means, how it means, but you're going to learn how to become resourceful. Who do I need to speak to? What do I need to learn? What focus do I need to, to have right now? What's the priorities? You're going to learn how to be productive, be organized. You're going to learn how to get the best out of the, the circumstances that you find yourself in. Whether you are low on capital or you're rich with capital. Whether you're low on time or you're rich with time. You are going to learn so much about yourself. And it's the realities of the, the, the facts of your entrepreneurship journey. You're going to have to be resourceful. You're going to have to use every single ounce of your creativity, your innovation. There's going to be things that happen, just happen, that you, can't, you couldn't have foreseen, you couldn't have controlled. 
but you're going to have to be willing because you can't control some things right you're going to have to be willing to go no matter what happens i'm taking 100 percent responsibility and we move on anyway we keep going anyway doesn't matter how bad something happens you have a duty an absolute duty to keep going no matter what so i just wanted to spend uh, 12 15 minutes or so here um just talking about some of the realities because we're all in realities of our own we've all got our own lives there's things that are happening things are not happening but the truth is it's those that are still standing in 2030 2040 2050 it's those that appear to have an overnight success that go wow that person's successful how how did you do it like what did you do it's like it's actually the things that you don't see it's the early mornings it's the late nights it's the taking action despite not knowing it's the ability the ability to figure it out it's the ability to recruit a team it's the ability to be creative try this try that try this again try that again the ability to invest in something in trainings in mentorship in in mastermind it's willingness to let go it's willingness to say to somebody i need help today it's willingness to be involved in a group of people that go i'm not sure what we're doing here but we'll figure it out we will make this happen they're the people they're the ones you are one of them that keep going so what can you do after this message after this video right now what can you take a step on today what can you take one step of progress today not consume another video not click on another youtube video whatever it is just go do it go do it today and then tomorrow do it again tomorrow then the next day do it again then and then before you know it you're gonna you're gonna stand up one day you're gonna stop swimming and you're gonna you're gonna figure out where you're at and you're gonna realize that you've gone so far you're gonna realize look where i am this is what i've managed to achieve my name's kev inspiring you every single day to keep taking massive action in your life and business if you want to be around people that are aspiring entrepreneurs successful entrepreneurs taking massive action every day i highly encourage you to check out the systemized summit that is coming very very soon that we're gonna have a wide range of people there but one thing that is absolutely not questionable is people's determination hunger and ability to take massive action every day speak soon take care and as always keep taking massive action bye bye